Hi again, Ms. McCarthy. We're ready to start our next lesson for this week. We are in set five and we're on week two. I want to remind you that before we get started, please find a nice quiet spot for our lesson today and get a piece of paper and pencil or something to write with so that you can take a picture of your work at the end of the lesson to send to your teacher on Class Dojo. I'm really happy that you clicked the link today. We're going to get started by um, listening to some words, saying those words, and then dropping the beginning sound of each word. So if I say bite, you'll drop the beginning sound in bite and say ite. Okay, so let's try that one again. Ready? Say bite. Now drop the beginning sound in bite. Yeah, ite. Say zap. Say zap without the first sound. Did you say app? Yeah. Say wet. Say wet without the first sound. Et. Say pole. Say pole without the first sound. Yeah, oh. Say cab. Now say it without that first sound. Ab. Say sun. Say sun without that first sound. Un. Hey, you're getting really good at this. Nice job. So yesterday we practiced breaking words with a vowel consonant consonant vowel pattern into syllables. So we're going to practice that again today. Okay? So here I have a word. It's written on my board. And I can notice right away that I have a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So watch, under my I is a vowel, and my A is a vowel, and then I have my two consonants here. So this word's a little bit tricky because this one has a long vowel sound at the end. You see you have an E here. Remember, A, consonant, E, this is gonna say A here. Okay, so remember, we're putting all these things that we're learning, that good readers do, together. So let's take a look. Here's my word, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel from yesterday. I remember that I'm going to break this word between my consonants. And now I am going to go ahead and read each syllable. Miss, take, mistake. Yeah, nice job. All right, we're going to try another word. And let's see here. Okay, let's take a look. I see my vowel, okay, and then here's my next vowel here, and I see my vowel pair, A-I, so it's A, remember that? And then I see I have a consonant, consonant. So I'm going to break this word between those two consonants. Now, let me take a look, and I'll read each syllable. mer made, mermaid. Let's take a look. I have some other words that we're going to practice together. And remember, we're going to be thinking about all of the strategies we've been learning um, when we come to longer words. So let's take a look at what I have. Here's my first word. I see vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. I'm going to go ahead and break it between my two consonants. And now I'll read the word, breaking it into my syllables. Tad. Pole, tadpole, okay, and a tadpole is baby frog. Here we go, let's take a look. I see my vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. I'm going to break my word between my two consonants. And now I'm going to go ahead and read each syllable. I'm sorry, each, yeah, each syllable. <laughs> Ready? Fear, less, fearless. Nice job. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my next one. I see vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Break it between my consonants. Go ahead and read for me. Did you do this? Miss, take, mistake. 
this down. All right. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Break it between my consonants. Let's go ahead and read. Invite, invite. Take a look. Think about where I'm going to place the dot. Did you say between the D and the T? Yeah, nice job. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Let me chunk it. Bed, time, bedtime. Take a look again. Where will I place the dot? You got it, right between the B and the L. And then I'll go ahead and chunk it. Problem, problem. Nice work, kiddo. So we're going to be practicing that when you read today, when you get to longer words. That's another thing that you can do to help you. Okay, I have some words for us to just think and read. Words for today. Okay, so I want you to think and read. Well. And if you need to, if you see a word that you can break into syllables, be thinking about what that looks like, okay? If you see a word that has a long consonant vowel, a long consonant, then think about what that's gonna sound like when you read the word. Take a look. Think. Read. Napkin. Yeah, look, I see a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. I would have broken it right there. Ready? Napkin, napkin. Go ahead, think, read, sunshine, think, read, smiles, think, read, better, and here's our last one, think, read, Muffin. Okay, I have a new word for us to add to our high frequency word list. And our word is read. Last night I read a wonderful book. Now, this word read looks just like another word, read. So this word read has actually two different ways that you can say it. So as a reader, when you come to this word in a book, Sometimes you're going to need to read it both ways to see which one makes sense, okay? So let's take a look at it. And when we practice this word, we're actually going to practice reading it both ways. So when I put one finger up like this, then I'm going to ask you to say read. And when I put two fingers up, I'm going to ask you to say read, okay? So first way, read. Second way, read. Good, let's do that again, ready? Read, read, spell, R-E-A-D, first way, read, second way, read, spell. All right, let's go ahead and let's practice our other words. This one was from yesterday, so think, read, Spell, read, head, read, spell, read, work, read, spell, read, school, Think, read, spell, read, after, think, read, spell, read, don't. Nice job. Let's take a look at those words one more time. Remember what to do first. Read, second, read, head, 
work, school, after, don't. Good job. Okay, so in a moment, I'm going to have you ask you to stop this video, go back to our calendar, and click on today's book. So today's book is titled Anne's Book Club. It was written by Lucy Bledsoe and illustrated by Linda Pierce. And in this book, um, the title has the word book club in here, the words book club. So a book club is a club that you can join with other people where you talk about books that you read. Okay, so this book is titled Anne's Book Club. And um, let's take a look. I'm going to open up to page three here. And I want you to look closely at page three, and I want you to find our new word, red. Can you find the new word red on here? Did you find it? Look closely. Yeah, it's right here. There's the word red right there. How about our, our other new word? Can you find the word head? Look closely. Can you point to it? Yeah, it's right there. There's the word head. Okay, so when you come to those words in today's story, you're just going to read them in a snap, right? Read, but sometimes you, know, you should read it the other way. Read to see which one makes sense. And then the other word with head. Okay, so before you get started, I wanted to share some words that you're going to see in this book. I'm just going to give them to you today. So take a look here. Here's our first word, everyone. Can you say that? Everyone. Good. Read it. Everyone. Book. You read it. Find. And our last one, about. These are all words that you're going to see in today's story. Now remember, these are the words that your teacher would normally have out on the table that you can look at, but because we're not in our school setting, I'm gonna need you to try to take a picture of these with your brain so that you can remember when you get to them in our book. So again, ready, read them with me. Everyone, book, find, about. Okay, so now your job is to hit stop on today's or pause on today's video, go to the calendar and click on today's book and book club right next to the lesson for today. Go ahead and read and practice all those wonderful things you've been working on in our lessons, like looking for syllables and how you can break them apart, looking for endings, um, thinking about when you see those long vowel patterns in, in words, um, and also be thinking about what the story is about. So go ahead and hit pause and then come back and then I have some questions to ask you. Go ahead and hit pause, read the book, enjoy it. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed today's book and book club. So I have two questions for you. So the first question is this, what is the problem in this story? Think about that. What was the problem? Tell me, what was the problem? You can tell me, you can tell a family member, if you have a stuffed animal or a pet, you can tell them. What was the problem? I agree, yeah, in this problem, Anne doesn't like anybody's suggestions on books because she's either already read books about that or she doesn't like the topic. So that's a problem. Everybody's giving her some suggestions and she just doesn't like what they have to say. So how do the children solve the problem? Can you tell me? I'm listening. Or tell a family member or your pet or a stuffed animal. How, does, how do the children solve the problem? Yeah. Do you remember at the end? Towards the end of the book. Dexter says, can we take turns picking the books? Do you remember that? Yeah, we didn't take turns picking the books. Nice job. You know what, there was one thing I forgot to talk to you about before you read your book, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tell you now. 
I'm going to go back right to this first page here. And on this first page, I see some quotation marks. These are those marks right before the letter H here in our first word heads. And then there's another one. Those quotation marks tell me that someone's talking in the story. So here's my quotation mark, and then here's another. And then right after, it says, Anne yells. This is telling me that Anne is saying these words here. And it should sound like this. Heads up, everyone. Anne yells. She's saying those words. Heads up, everyone. And those quotation marks in this book tell me that somebody's talking. And in this case, it's Anne, and she's actually yelling it. Sorry, I forgot to mention that to you before you read your books. Okay, take out your paper and um, writing utensil, whether it's a pencil or a marker or whatever you're using. And I'm going to give you today's first word. Okay, our first word is forget. Don't forget to do your homework. So let's take a think, let's think about the word forget and let's break it into syllables. Forget. Let's write the first syllable for. And now let's write that second syllable, get. Remember, don't put a space between for and get. It's one word. Write get. You can check your work with mine. Does it look like this? Good. If it doesn't, just fix it. Okay, your next word is sport. Soccer is a sport that many kids like to play. Sport. Say it slowly if you need to. And check your work with mine. And finally, our last word is a high frequency word that we've been practicing with our read, spell, read. And the word is after. What do you do after you watch your lessons? After. Ready? Take a look at mine. And fix anything if you need to. All right, remember, this is the time for you to take a picture of the work that you just did and send it to your teacher on Class Dojo so they can take a look at it. If you want to, there's also the link on the calendar to Scholastic Literacy Pro, so you can click on that link to read some other books if you'd like to do that as well. Okay, everyone, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Miss you.